All right, guys, you should never sell AI automation services or custom GPTs to clients or on the app store. And if you saw part one, which is already on the channel, you will know why I'm as happy as a convict that is getting paid and granted immunity to roll over on his enemies. Now, let me tell you what you should do with it. Go ahead. Let's come over here. How much could I charge to create a sustainability plan? So what we're doing is we're going to create a custom GPT that will create sustainability plans for local businesses. You can charge $15,000 for that. It says it can cost people uh, a few thousand to ten thousands of dollars. So I'm not lying to you. We're going to use these custom GPTs that you guys are selling for cheap. And as you can see, there's a crazy amount of competition of people telling you to do the exact same thing. I want you to be different because if you're the only, you don't have to be in competition to be the best. So be the only one providing this service okay so we're going to use these gpts to do this as you can see this is my site right here and i have unique services so give away for free what other people are selling then you cut the legs out for up, up under the competition and then you can sell what nobody else is selling so we are selling things like uh, $15,000 affiliate armies, $197,000 uh, uh, market monopolies, things that nobody else is selling, but we'll use the custom GPTs and the AI automation services as bait by giving that away for free. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to build a custom GPT and you're not going to have any competition with this. Uh, besides the people that are watching this video, you know, that's better than you going against all the people watching those other hundreds of videos telling you to sell the same thing. So in the last video, we built a job scholar uh, sales training uh, GPT, guys, and that way you can offer customized, personalized sales training uh, based on the personalities of each employee instead of just some broad sales training. This is why this stuff is crazy, right? All right, so we're going to go to create a custom GPT. You must have GPT-4 or, or plus, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to create. All right, what would you like to make? So let me see. Did I already copy this? I already got it copied so that you guys don't have to sit and wait. And let me close that out. Hopefully y'all get it. So you can make $15,000 or around that just selling these sustainability plans to local businesses because it's going to allow them to do a lot like what i'm going to show you right here boom we put this in here create a uh tool for a custom hold on create a custom environmental sustainability plan for local businesses tool <laughs> all right that uh that is tailored okay that is tailored to for sustainability plans for local businesses this service could analyze the business's operations and provide suggestions for energy efficiency come on man come on clap it up in the comments let me know man what's up i'm showing you something completely different from what these other people are showing you because i want you to stand out when you reach out to these business owners and you don't get the friction and resistance that everybody else is getting okay so waste reduction and sustainable practices specific to their industry and location and location so it's going to be specific to their industry and location this not only helps businesses reduce their environmental impact, but uh, also can lead to cost savings and improve public image. Okay, then it says monetization could uh, involve a consultancy fee or a subscription model for ongoing sustainability tracking and advice. So it even tells you how you can actually, you know what I'm saying, monetize this, guys. Like I said, monetize this as a service. Do not put this on that little app store that they're going to be creating for GPTs or any app store. Uh, use this as a service because this is your secret weapon. If you ain't got no assets, that's why you ain't got no cash yet. Remember that. Okay, so we're going to delete that. And then we're going to tell it to go ahead and create that. Boom. 
Now watch this. We're going through this entire thing. Part one is already on uh, the channel. If you're watching this, it came out today at 10, 15. Make sure you go back and watch part one so you'll know how to uh, create custom GPTs as a service for a sales training that is customized, all right? So now, and, and in that video, while that's doing that, I showed you guys how to clone the business owner, like, and, and create the, the clone of the business owner using AI will create the sales training that is personalized to each employee, right? Whatever that employee is struggling with, they'll have customized, personalized sales training, and it'll look like the actual business owner created that sales training, and it will sound like it, and this automatically, with one click of a button, will translate that video into multiple different languages, without you knowing anything, and it will move, it won't have the Chinese mouth, it will move like it, like the, the business owner actually knows the different language, man, super powerful, but anyway, let's move on. All right, so now it says, for your custom GPT, I suggest the name EcoPlan Helper. <laughs> they don't try to be creative at all. Does this name work for you? Uh, Eco, let's come up with something. Let's, uh, Eco, okay, we'll just go ahead with that name for now. Yeah, let's continue are y'all having fun with this yet man let me know in the comments man do a jet lee sidekick to the like button g kundo style uh if you're having fun with this have y'all tried this yet what what custom gpt have you built well matter of fact no keep that to yourself <laughs> We want to uh, have these as secret weapons, guys. And the good thing about it is you can write down all of the problems, the most common problems uh, that local businesses have in each industry, and you can create a custom GPT for each of those, all right, and use them as a service. Don't give it to the business. Don't give it to the business. Now you're giving away your superpower, right? That's like Superman flying in. And instead of saving people himself, saying, here, let me give you all my powers. I'm not going to fly back home. I'm just going to catch the bus. No, he just goes and saves people and they just got to wait till he come back around and save them again. That That's what makes him valuable, right? So you don't want to give away what makes your, you valuable, right? So you keep these GPTs and you you, uh, you charge as a service for them. All right, so now it says, here's the profile. Would you like to change it? Yeah, try again. Let's just see what it does. Try again, please. Okay, so as you guys can see, you can copy these uh, uh, these GPTs that I'm creating right now, and you can charge or the, your local market as a service. So the other AI automation services, give that stuff away for free. Get that stuff away for free and charge for things that other people aren't uh, offering. That's what you charge for. Charge for stuff that other people can't copy. You understand what I'm saying? So even though you guys can use these right now, in your market, there's no other marketer that is approaching businesses with this. You're going to be the only one that has this. While they're trying to sell AI services uh, 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 like chat bots and freaking web page bots and bull crap and cre content creators and stuff <laughs> while they're trying to sell seo and all of that and facebook ads you're going to have stuff that's tailored to businesses it says do you like this one for sure yes sure let's let's continue all right, so I'm going to show you guys how it's going to work and everything. You'll be able to see how you'll be able to make $15,000 or more doing these sustainability plans for local businesses. All right, let me know in the chat if you've ever heard of any of these agency channels and all of that stuff, marketing, make money online channels, telling you to create a sustainability program for local businesses. Have you ever offered that before? Let me know because then I might have to step my game up. I've never seen it before. Okay, so it says, great. Now, let's refine the role and goals of Econ Eco Plan Helper. This tool is designed to offer tailored sustainability advice for local businesses. Could you specify the types of businesses and sustainability topics you like to focus on? For example, should it cover a wide range of industries uh, um, like restaurants, retail, manufacturing, and should it include all aspects of the sustainability. Okay, so we're just gonna take that. 
Yeah, pause. Now let's talk about should it emphasize and avoid uh, interactions. It's asking multiple questions at one time. Okay, it should cover a wide range of industries or specialize and specialize in certain areas like restaurants, manufacturing, uh, uh, chiropractors, car dealer, ships, law firms, all the high ticket stuff, uh, <laughs> and plastic surgeons. With okay, it it and it should include yes, and it should include all aspects of the sustainability like energy, waste, waste, uh, water management and ethical sourcing are uh, and et cetera, I'll say et cetera. Okay, let's see. We want it to include the technical jargon but speak with a more human like style it should include metaphors similes i think that's how you spell similes um similes and analo G's as well as name drop celebrities slash public figures to emphasize points and be more realistic with answers. Okay, boom. So now GPT-4 has the ability to, you know, like search the current events of the internet and all of that. So it's way more uh, knowledgeable and smart. So when it's doing is research or creating the uh, the answers and the content and the responses and everything that it's gonna do, it will be able to give more up-to-date information. So that's where it's at. Boom, boom, boom. So it says Eco Planner will now cover a range, a wide range of industries, including restaurants, retail, manufacturers, chiropractors, car dealerships, law firms, plastic surgeons. It will discuss all aspects of sustainability, such as energy, waste, water management, all of that stuff. Okay, so it will blend the technical jargon with a human like style. So now it says, now let's talk about how Eco Plan. Uh, helpers should clarify information with users. Should it ask for more details if a question is vague? Yes, it should ask for more details or uh, ask the person to rephrase the question in a more simplistic way. Okay, how should it handle requests outside expertise like legal advice? It should say, I'm not an expert in that, but I'll redirect you to someone who is. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? Okay, boom. All right, <clears throat> so we're making this wise. And then you guys are gonna see how we configure it and everything and give it all of the information that it needs from the local business. So when you're dealing with the local business, when you're creating these custom GPTs, you'll be able to like take all of the information and feed it, like information about the industry, information about uh, uh, like the local businesses that you're working with and all of that stuff, feed it in there. So the answers will be completely, uh, 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 you know, verified, right? You, you know, you don't have to depend on GPT just making up some stuff that's false, right? So now it says, finally, finally, 
Let's personalize how eco plan helper communicates. You've mentioned it should use technical jargon, but in a human uh, human like style. Should it also have a sense of humor? Be strictly professional or something in between? Uh, how should it address users? Okay, it should address users uh, casually if it knows their name okay it and should it reference current events it should definitely reference current events when making a point that it is relevant okay are you guys getting this like is this making sense to you guys like i hope so man come on let me know let me know let me know in the chat baby Class participation points. Okay, so it says trends and sustainability, current events, yes, and trends. Uh, what else did it ask? Strictly professional. It can have a, you know, it can, it can use humor as well when permissible. I think that's how you spell, what is it? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Guys, now, guys and girls watching this, it's not going to be fully, you know what I'm saying, like uh, fully, you know, uh, complete or powered until you do the configured section right there. So right now is kind of like a shell of what it can possibly be. And as you can see, it's actually trying to, you know, build everything out and everything right now. So this is cool and everything. Uh, but we want to get to the configuring stage and feed in as much information about the industry and about the local businesses specifically that we're going to be dealing with uh, their their uh, habits and, you know, and everything when it comes to their lack of sustainability, uh, their energy habits, their waste habits and all of that stuff. We want to feed it in there, feed it in there so that it can create tailored plans for these local businesses. So now it says Eco Plan Helper is now set up to provide custom environmental sustainability plans for a variety of uh, industries with a focus on being relatable and up to date. It uses technical jargon in a human like manner, incorporating humor and references. Uh, current trends and sustainability. This tool will address users casually, blah, blah, blah. Now I invite you to test out the eco plan helper in a playground. Try asking, get questions related to making a business more sustainable. If you have any re refinements or additional features you'd like to ask, let me know. Okay, so, hey, so it's pretty much done, guys. You can go ahead and you can save it over here. This is how you will save it. And I can make it public. Oh, why won't it let me? Okay, maybe I gotta say it's done. Okay, so maybe it'll let me save it now. Let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see if I can. Why won't it let me? Hold on, maybe I gotta test it out first. Yeah, I think I got to test it out. What are the latest sustainable trends for retail stores? Boom. So as you can see, it's working over here. It's searching latest sustainable trends in retail. And it's visiting websites and stuff. Look at this. This is freaking crazy, man. So you're going to keep this asset because this is going to be your superpower when you're dealing with these businesses in the niches that you're gonna be dealing with these businesses, you'll always be valuable because since you created this tool, it's, it's, it's like a, a weapon in your arsenal that nobody else is able to use. Well, it let me go ahead and say this. Why well, won't it let me say this guy? I put it in the chat, why well, won't let me say? It says GPT name cannot be empty. Where's the name? Uh, okay, let's go over here to configure. Okay, it doesn't have a name. That's why eco, I don't think I like the eco plan, but we'll use eco plan assist. 
equal ego plan assist. So as you can see over here, guys, it's actually creating a plan for retail stores. This is crazy. This is crazy. And if you don't want to give it to them in a document uh, form, you can do this at scale, you know, by going, hey, Jen, and duplicating a copy of yourself and your voice and feeding in uh, this right here, this information right here. And then it will just literally create the, the videos in multiple languages for you with your mouth moving with the language itself and all of that look realistic, even though it's AI is going to sound realistic, they won't even be able to tell the difference. You can choose the background where you're at. Everything looks realistic. It's crazy. Matter of fact, you guys don't even know if I'm here right now because that's how realistic that is. No, I'm just playing. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> but that's how it will go. So then you would save it. But what I want you to see right here, guys, is this part right here. You can choose which questions you want as far as like prompts, conversation starters and everything. If you don't like uh, how this is, you can always come back in here and configure it when you edit it. But right here, this is where you'll upload the knowledge of the industry, their habits and the things that they do that's not sustainable and everything that you're going to be, to be able to help them with and all of that. That way you'll be able to give them customized tailored plans to their industry specifically, and you can charge so much money and help them save on costs and overhead and all of that stuff. Guys, you want to be an asset just by owning your assets, and then you'll be able to get that cash. Yes, Lord. All right, so I'm going to confirm that and I'm going to save it. And as you can see, boom, voila, I have it right here. This is my own custom GPT. As a chiropractor, how can I use less plastic? Look at that. That's crazy, right? Uh, can you suggest eco-friendly upgrades for my restaurant? What are the latest sustainable trends for retail stores? How can my law firm contribute to buy environmental? Law firms might not be the best one for this. <laughs> Think of companies that use a lot of plastic. Think of companies that have a lot of waste and stuff. And that'll probably be the niches that you want to go after that that would, you know, be more powerful, uh, um, you know, strategy uh, strategically to reach out to with this. And as you can see, your GPTs that you create are over here. You must have the, the plus plan, guys. And then you, you will just come over here and you will create a new GPT. There you go. And you can always come in here and you can edit your GPTs right there or you can delete your GPTs by clicking on the three buttons. Make sure you stick around because tomorrow I am going to drop part three and we're going to have a completely different service that you can use these custom GPTs to sell local businesses. Remember, Never sell AI services like chat bots and web bots and all of that zap, Zapier, regular stuff that everybody else is telling you to sell. Too much competition. Create, use leverage this AI to create your own assets and, and sell the services from the, the assets that you create. Okay, you guys understand? Like, like the, the AI punchline is not as powerful as it used to be. Don't even tell the local business that is created from AI because they don't even know or trust it any freaking way. You understand? So that's not a superpower when you reach out, I'm going to give you an AI. Did it. No, say I'm going to create a customized or personalized sustainability plan for your blank whatever company. And it's going to save you around twenty to $30,000 a year. I'm just throwing numbers out there. So this is how you can charge up to $15,000 or more with these local businesses by creating custom GPTs. Love you guys. See you in tomorrow's video.